Right, well, this one should be interesting. <laughs> hey, little boob, what's this? There you go. So, I thought I'd use Boo to demonstrate the relative size of this package, which just arrived. But I don't think Boo likes it up here. He'd much rather be down, down there devouring people's souls by their ankles. So we're going to put him down. All right, Boo, come on. There you go, shorty. Um, <laughs> we're going to get this bad boy opened up. Wow. As you can probably tell, this one's from Sideshow. Um, <laughs> I can't remember, again, I can't remember how much this one cost. Um, however, these things are expensive. And hopefully, when uh, we've got it opened up, you'll see why. Right, I'm going to need to think about how to do this. Um, and it's probably going to be very noisy. Thanks to the new Rode video mic, the shotgun microphone on top of that camera. which I must admit is a very, very, very good microphone. Wow. <laughs> okay. Actually, do I need the big box? I don't need the big box. I don't need the big box and I've got a few from Dirty Great Big Trench Knife. So let's use it. Sideshow collectibles. Star Wars Militaries, one sixth scale. Do you back? Um, the packaging, as you can see and should probably expect, is spectacular. Now, Sancho do or did do a sand trooper. This figure is actually sold as an accessory uh, for the Sand Trooper. So you can mount the Sand Trooper on it or stand it next to it and have them open the reins, whatever you want. Unfortunately, everything that Sideshow does is a limited edition. Oh man. <laughs> now I've got to get, oh right. Yeah, everything Sideshow does is a limited edition. And so there are no Sand Troopers left. So I've had to order one of those off eBay. Um, of course it's eBay so god I mean that's when that's going to arrive but this this Dubac figure is just part of one piece if you like once the sound tripper arrives this will be complete but I, don't, I can't remember how much this thing cost I think it was just under $300 once again proper costs will be appearing on screen I'm going to have to uh, <laughs> well, I'm still going to get I'm still going to get a styrofoam packaging so uh, yeah We'll be right back after this short message from our sponsors. Right then, um, after some struggling, I managed to get it down into this state here. So, um, in the top, in the top side of the packaging, there's this uh, rod, um, which was supposed to be electrically charged at one end, and the stormtrooper who was driving would use it to steer the dew back by tapping him on one side of the head or the other. So. That's obviously for when I get the Stormtrooper. Um, there are various... We'll give you close-ups of these later. There's uh, various saddles and packaging. Various hooks and straps and stuff. That uh, also come with the figure itself. So there's a couple of pieces. There's another pack, so that's two of those saddlebags. Well, actually, it's three. Yep, there's another one. And actually, it's four. <laughs> exactly the same. 
presumably made out of bantha for anyway we'll show you close-ups of those after i've mounted them on the model right now you want to actually see the model i am um, I actually had a bit of a, oh my God, moment. Um, because I got the dew back out of the packaging. Took all the wrapping, uh, the wrapping, wrapping, is that a word? It is now. Took all the wrapping off him. And um, I thought, well, where's the base? So I searched the top side of the packaging, there's nothing there. And just as I was about to uh, rage, <laughs> that they'd sent me an incomplete model. I, hang on. Ah, there it is. So that was a relief. Let's grab the knife. Cut this free. Wow. Wait until you see the size of this thing. Packaging noises. Hey. Wow. Now I'm trying to get that. Ah, there we go. Okay. Right, the base is some weight. And there you can see. Well, I'll read it to you first and then I'll show it. Uh, Sajo Collectibles Star Wars G Back, what a six scale figure. Limited edition number 2479 of only two and a half thousand made. There it is. So let's get this bad boy put together. Right, there he is. Uh, Sajo Collectibles, one to six scale Imperial Stormtrooper G Back, native to the planet Tatooine, Star Wars. Stormtroopers use these as uh, transport beasts of burden, where the heat and dust uh, would make vehicles unreliable. Or, you know, that's the backstory. I just got it because it looks really, really cool with the Stormtrooper mounted on it. Of course, I don't have the Stormtrooper yet. Um, it's huge though, isn't it? <laughs> um, wow. Just, it, wow. I'm not sure what Boo's going to think of this guy. He might not like the competition. Um, so, what we've got, well, obviously the reins. Um, the parts that are actually movable are the reins, the choker. Um, the harness here is actually part of the model. Right? It, it's, it doesn't move. The same with the, um, the saddle. The saddle looks like it's made of leather. It's actually part of the polystone of the model. But you've got this. Uh, well, screw it. Let's show you as always. Let's show you all this in close-up. Here he is. I need a name for him. I don't know what we're going to call him. I was thinking Bert or Ernie, but that, that's going to the two stormtroopers from Art FX. Look, uh, just look at the detail on this monster. Those are two of the four packs. Um, I can show you this. See the detailing. They're attached to the saddle directly by those clips. You've got this uh, fake fur, I think it's supposed to be Bantha fur, uh, saddle pommel. Canvas ground sheet at the back here. Just look at the level of detail on that. Just in case you were in any doubt as to the extremes of detail to which Sideshow go with these figures, I'm just going to show you a closer look. And that munching noise you can hear in the background is Boo eating more of the packaging. We're going to give you a closer look at one of these packs. Yep, they all open up. And that's not all. They open out even further. They're packed out with a piece of styrofoam to uh, maintain the shape. But, you know, you don't have to have it in there. Every single buckle and strap on this figure actually works and has a purpose. 
Uh, as is customary by now, um, I like to close off these little videos with uh, an example of something that I already own. Uh, and in this, this case, uh, oh, hello, Boo. <laughs> you thought you just wandered in, didn't you? Are you, are you going to shake your neck so that your collar rattles and, and ruin this video for the good people on YouTube? Or are you just going to sit there having a good stretch? You just, okay, right. No, I'll, I'll, yeah, we'll, it's boo. <laughs> yes, something that I, um, that's going to be on display in the collection, uh, but which I have had for a while. And in this case, it's something that if you ever listen to uh, the Dream Team Tank Company live streams once a month, you may have already heard, and it's this bad boy right here. That is a Force FX Darth Vader's lightsaber. Now he's eaten the packaging. Dogs. Um, this cost me, I think it was 120 pounds. Uh, I got this as a treat for myself when I left the Navy. So I've had this for a couple of years. Um, it, it's, it's awesome. I mean, that will turn the light off. It's not that much darker without the lights on, but... <laughs> oh, yes. It's the sound effects alone that make it. So, that is uh, Darth Vader's Force FX lightsaber. They do a huge range. It's about every Jedi who ever existed has got their own model of lightsaber made by these guys. Um, the sound effects... Boo really doesn't like this. <laughs> you know, there are motion sensors in there that generate different sound effects depending on how you move in the lightsaber. And then the on and the off, obviously. Battery powered, fit in the, in the handle. Obviously there's a speaker right there in the base that generates the sound. Immense fun. And anytime anybody pisses me off <laughs> on the Dream Team Tank Company live stream, they get the lightsaber. Take care, folks. Catch you next time.